What's up? I'm B, and welcome to my channel. This week, I guess you could say, is the Britney Dawn content extravaganza because I did a video about her lawsuit, and uh, you can watch it here. But also, I saw one of her stories, and I just screen recorded it because it was so interesting to me. And I thought, let's go ahead and watch it together. All right, y'all ready for this? Okay, so. Upon posting my reel this morning, there are people on there that are like, that is not your real skin. I didn't use a filter in the first part, but anyways, that's besides the point, you guys. I could get into a whole thing about that. Um, anyways, here's my real skin, you guys. This is me. This is absolutely no makeup. Um, I'm going to show you guys what foundation I use and what makeup brush I use. This is on Amazon. This is like $7. It's literally... I'm gonna have to find that reel because I don't recall seeing a reel where her skin looked like that. I know there was one where it was like, without makeup, with makeup, a glow up by God. I don't know. Apparently, if you pray hard enough, God will make you look different. Maybe that's something I'll have to try. I am pretty short, and so I feel like if I had a little bit of height on me, maybe I could look kind of more elegant. It's worth a shot, I guess. Okay, so I will show the reel that she's referencing later, but this is the post that I was thinking of, and the very last sentence in her caption is, a heavenly glow up is something you can't buy at beauty stores. It's priceless. Amazing, and then I'm going to link my actual foundation in the next story as well. Um, I use Arbonne. I've used Arbonne for like four years. How many different forms of like scamming income do you need? I get it. A lot of people go for the whole multiple streams of income. That way, if something fails, you've got a backup. You know, we're all good to go. One, that sounds exhausting when it comes to tax season. Two, can we at least have one that's legitimate? Can we have like one stream of income for Brittany Dawn that is legitimate instead of shilling for an MLM? Um, and that's not a sales pitch. I didn't sign up with Arbonne to sell it. Um, if that were the case, you guys would hear me talking about it all the time. I so I signed up to actually just be a paying customer to get a discount. And because of that, can offer you guys a link. So I'm going to link that right here. But this makeup brush, so you guys see, my foundation makes your skin. I also put my foundation on my neck so that my neck matches my face. Um, my face is always a lot paler than the rest of my body. That's how it usually is for girls. So That's how it usually is for girls who use self-tanner. Those Oh, that's how it is for girls. No, you use self-tanner, and so your face is a different shade than your body. That's, that's just a fact. Um, I just match my skin tone with this, and yes, I use self-tanner. Not ashamed of that. Um, yeah, so this foundation brush. Good. Good. I'm glad that she admits it. Something about the phrasing of, yes, like my face is paler than my body. That's how it is for most girls. That, something about that bothers me. Am I turning into Josh and getting too nitpicky? I, I've i been watching his videos. Josh from the Dad Challenge podcast, your supporters made a mistake in telling me you haven't watched enough of his content. You don't know what you're talking about. You need to watch more of his videos because I have. I have been watching more of his videos and let's just say the urge to make a DCP part three get stronger and stronger every day. It was like $7 on Amazon. It is absolutely amazing. You guys can see how like seamless this foundation goes on. I will link it right here. Um, and then my next step will just be concealer and then I just put powder foundation and that's it. Um, sometimes I will use bronzer and like try to like not contour but just like highlight accentuate accentuate my cheekbones um, and that is literally the extent of my makeup routine. My eyebrows are microbladed. I've had them microbladed for five years now. Um, so yeah I really don't have to do a lot to them. I just kind of like brush them and make them look a little fuller but that's it. Then for concealer, I just use this cheapy NYX, which I will also link here. I don't don't like spending a lot of money on concealer. Um, so she's going to get into this. And this is the part that I really wanted to talk about. Because, yeah, the Arbonne thing, that made me irritated. But this is the thing. At the bottom, her caption says, guess what? There's nowhere in the Bible that says you cannot wear makeup. That is called legalism. I'm going to let her speak. But Brittany Dawn... If there's nowhere in the Bible that says you cannot wear makeup, that is called legalism. 
and you feel very strongly about that, why on earth would you tell people that yoga is demonic? Where in the Bible does it say that? Where in the Bible does it say that you can't watch horror movies because those are portals to hell? Where is it in the Bible that says that um, popular artists these days are giving us subliminal messages and we shouldn't listen to them? Where, like, where, do, where are we getting that from? What legitimate source is that coming from? You want to make it a point to say like, well, I wear makeup, so obviously makeup can't be wrong. But doing yoga and manifestation, guided meditation, watching horror movies – Segs before I hate how she does, she does s e g g s before marriage is opening you up to demons and I'm just like I'm getting a lot of info over here of things that we can't do because you're saying that those are things that you're against but makeup we're good to go we are good to go even though one might one might be able to make the argument that like well if your life is about being devoted to Christ. I mean, Christ was, Jesus Christ was a nomad, you know, he, he didn't have all these material goods. He didn't focus so much on his appearance. He just wanted to uh, walk around and spread the word and, you know, fulfill prophecies, heal the sick, help people. He wanted to overturn the Roman government. I mean, we love a politically active savior. So, where does wearing makeup come into play? How, do, how does that help you in being a kingdom chaser? I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't wear makeup very often, obviously, but I like makeup. I have, I have a lot of makeup that I wear like twice a month. Um, I, I, don't think, I don't have a problem with her wearing makeup, but it's just funny that there's so many things that she says you can't do because the Bible says so when she doesn't even have a fully – formed grasp on how to look for context in my opinion in the bible because anybody who does would not just like throw out about a bible verse and say this bible verse proves my point without really expanding on it so i don't think she has that but it's just interesting to me yeah i also want to throw this out there there's nowhere in the bible that says that you cannot wear makeup just gonna say that um, oh and i feel like at this point i need to like get a bottle of tito's because i talked about this in my other video when she's talking about spiritual things or the Bible or Jesus, she has this like what I perceive to be fakety fake tick where she says, wow. And I think it's it's meant to like present as if just like the Holy Spirit is flowing through her. She can't stop herself. She's channeling and wow, wow. I think that that's like the impression she's trying to give. But to me, it seems very like manufactured. So I was like, I'll take a shot every time she says, wow. And then... um I'll be down for the count until like three o'clock tomorrow. Um, I'm so tired of people being like, you're a Christian, you can't wear makeup, you can't do your hair, you can't brush your hair, you can't braid your hair, you can't, like that's legalism, that's legalism. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Um, and legalism falls under religious rules and Jesus was not about religion. He came to love, not to love religion. Just throwing that out there. Okay, so this is my powder. She looked very proud of herself. He came to love, not love religion. Well. There's a lot of rules that you want everybody to follow or you want everybody else to follow and think that you follow when you don't follow. It's a mess. Oh, I'm on a tangent right now. And I just want to encourage you too, if you're living in those chains of legalism, if you feel like you are bound and shackled by religious rules or like a church that you grew up in just had all these rules that if you didn't follow it, you weren't a Christian or you weren't loved by God, I'm sorry. Like, I'm so sorry that you've had to experience that. That is not the church. That is not the body of Christ. Okay, I will say this part, this part where she says at the bottom, her caption says, I'm so sorry if you have ever had someone tell you you're not a Christian or won't get into heaven because you wear makeup, dance, color your hair, wear outfits that don't cover every inch of your body, etc. I agree with that sentiment. There have been so many people who have been so just caught, they've been forced to be repressed. They have been forced to feel shame about their body, about the way it moves, about the way that it looks, about the way that they feel comfortable. And that sucks. It makes me feel so bad that there are people who literally, somebody left a comment related to this on one of my videos recently where it was like, they couldn't even dance 
They couldn't dance at church, at home, wherever they were not allowed to. And so as an adult, they let, they're like, I, I want to dance. I want to branch out. And I hope that they do. I hope that they take it at whatever speed and whatever pace that they are comfortable with. But dancing is so fun. And to know that there are people who were told, like, you cannot dance because it is evil or because it goes against our religion makes me really sad. So I will agree with this caption of Britney's. And I just want to encourage you, wow, I just want to encourage you that there is freedom at the feet of Jesus, that he comes to set the captive free, that he comes to sever those shackles. Like I've been there before. I grew up in a Southern Baptist church where if you did this, you weren't a Christian. If you did that, you were a Christian and you cannot earn your way into heaven. You cannot earn your Way by being a good Christian, by being a good person, by following all these religious rules. That is not love. That is not salvation. Wow. I felt the Lord on that. Wow. I feel like someone needs to hear this too, but um, there is no one act that will get you into heaven. Going to church won't get you into heaven. Reading the Bible won't get you into heaven. Serving won't get you into heaven. Listening to worship on a Sunday morning won't get you into heaven. There is no act that you can do being a good person giving to the homeless giving to the needy like those things will not get you into heaven like that is not the way to heaven it's only through jesus christ and wow i feel like someone just needed to hear that i needed to know that and if you didn't know that and you have questions feel free to respond to me in this story and i will respond to you and, and guide you through that um but wow this was a get ready with me and it just turned into a mini sermon holy spirit come <laughs> It was just interesting to me to see her like shill Arbon and then go in on this rant that like basically just goes against everything that she preaches herself and talking about, oh, like specific acts won't get you into heaven. Yeah, but the, they might also be indicative of what kind of person you are where she says like giving to the homeless won't get you into heaven. Will stealing from them keep you out of it? Just a question, just something to consider, allegedly. So that part, and then uh, we end it with, oh, DM She Lives Freed if you want to know more about how to get saved. So we are always on. We are always self-promoing. She's a hustler. I guess you got to give her that. Okay, and I found the reel that she was referring to earlier where people were saying like, oh, that's not your real skin or that's not you without a filter. Look, I'm not, I'm not into all that. I'm not super savvy. I'll play it for you and you can tell me what you think. I can't say for sure whether or not she is using a filter, but I can tell you for a fact, at the very least, she's taking advantage of lighting and um, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. I know it was definitely a shorter one. Um, I tend to be a bit long-winded, and so I feel like a 40-minute video is kind of my sweet spot, but sometimes things don't really need to be 40 minutes, and uh, when they're not, it feels kind of weird to have a, a quick little video as my one video for the week. So going forward, I want to have these shorter, a little bit quicker videos that I can put up throughout the week. And so if there's anything you want me to react to or cover that isn't a super in-depth story, feel free to send it to me on Instagram um, or Twitter. Maybe I'll see it. Send it to Instagram or send it to uh, hihoneyyt at gmail.com. That is an email address that is for you. If you have anything you want to share with me, if you have an experience that you want to share on the channel, that's where all that goes. Please feel free to reach out to me there. If you have any thoughts on this video, leave them in the comment section. You know I love to hear them. And while you're doing that, if you would consider liking this video or subscribing to my channel, that would be incredible. And if you are subscribed already, thank you so much. I am so appreciative of you and I love being able to just sit here hang out with you and talk about whatever. Thank you so much for watching. Please be kind to people and I will see you in the next one. Bye.